In this third installment looking at amateur radio high frequency beacons, let's look at PSK Reporter. It's a great way not only to see who hears you, but also those you hear, all nicely plotted on Google Maps, geared particularly to digital modes. This can tell you how well you hear other stations, and where in this big wide world of ours your signal is going. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and welcome to Ask Dave, episode 33. This series of videos seeks to answer your questions about ham radio, particularly those of interest to those new to the hobby. Two episodes ago, we looked at the International Beacon Project. Last episode, we looked at the Reverse Beacon Network. This episode looks at PSK Reporter, a sophisticated beacon system that uses as many stations around the world who want to participate. Unlike the relatively specialized equipment needed to be a reverse beacon, PSK Reporter uses the equipment that we have in our ham shack. You can participate by simply clicking a permission box in your digital software, and you can see the results online at pskreporter.info. This is what you see on the pskreporter.info website. Let's take a look at the plethora of information available. Each little balloon represents an amateur station that participates in the system. You can search for lots of different things using these fields up here. In this example, I've set it up for a search to see who hears me, but haven't pressed go yet. The balloons are color-coded to represent the band. You can see just how popular the orange 20-meter band is around the world. The system monitors activity on ham bands in use everywhere, including all the HF bands, the long-wave experimental bands, and even on the European 4-meter band. If you hover your mouse over one of these stations, you can get information about that station, including the software being used, in this case WSJTX, what mode is being received, in this case JT65, and the frequency, shown as 14.078 MHz, which is on the 20 meter band. If we zoom into the USA, we can start to separate out the stations. My station is circled with a turquoise oval. If I click on my station, I see the information about my station. Note that if I click on the link to show all seen by KE0OG, only those stations my software has heard will show up on the map. Note that this is interesting because my JT65 software provides information to the system about every station it hears, not just the stations I've worked. Before we delve too much deeper, let's see how it all works. The key is your digital mode software, such as Ham Radio Deluxe's DM780, FL Digi, or WSJTX. Each of these software packages allows you to see what's happening over a range of frequencies, usually about 3 kHz wide. You'll often see several stations operating at the same time, and you may pick a CQ to answer or call CQ yourself. Well, while you're doing this, as long as you've turned this feature on, there's a piece of your software that collects data on every station your software picks up, not just the ones you're working. It does this silently and in the background. So, for example, if you're working PSK31 and your station can hear signals from 20 stations, the call signs for all 20 stations go to the system. By the way, when you send data for stations your software has spotted, that's called spotting. The spots go out over your internet connection in real time and end up at a server run by the inventor of PSK Reporter, Philip Gladstone. The server collates all this data and creates live web pages that you can monitor in near real time. And of course, anyone in the world can see it too. I got on the air on PSK31 and on JT65 and had some QSOs. In the meantime, 
information silently went to the PSK reporter system. I did this exercise about dusk in early July, and you can see the day-night delimiter, which shows that the sun has set in Colorado. Propagation along the gray line can be pretty marvelous sometimes, and you can see that here. The little flags show how long ago the station represented by that bubble heard my signal. You can see that I'm being heard throughout Europe and Australia and New Zealand. Also, lots of stations in the U.S. and a few in South America heard from me, too. This zoomed-in map shows the United States, again showing the many stations that heard me. Note something interesting. The map shows the city lights on the background map. You can easily see the metro areas. As you can see, my station isn't really near anything. We can also zoom in on Europe, which is just waking up as the sun rises. If I click on my station here in western Colorado and choose to see which stations I'm hearing, you can see all the stations with smaller bubbles. The big pink pie section shows the direction of 95% of the signals. Inside the little description that shows my station, there's a link to show the transmitter distance chart that looks at the number of stations at varying distances from me. It shows distance only, not direction. The result is quite interesting and shows a big gap in distances, suggesting interesting propagation effects. The PSK Reporter website also has a number of charts available for study. This one shows the number of reports received hourly, and you can see a sharp daily cycle. Let's pause on this PSK Reporter chart for a while. This shows the various digital software packages that are being used over the prior seven-day period. The most reports are being received by Joe Taylor's WSJTX and the next most by JT65-HF, an adaptation of Taylor's JT65 software. These software packages can only report JT65 and JT9. The next most popular is DM780, part of the Ham Radio Deluxe Suite, which does not do JT65, so these spots are likely PSK31. Next comes a RIDI mode called ROS, R -O -S, designed for high noise conditions used in Europe. Then comes FL Digi, which also doesn't do JT65. This could give a general indication of software package popularity but it's only representative of those who've turned on PSK Reporter. The modes are sorted here. While this would look like a ringing endorsement of JT65 as the most popular digital mode, some things should be taken into account. JT65 is a weak signal mode with highly sophisticated error control. So when JT65 detects a call sign, it's very sure that it's right. PSK31 seems to be only a tenth as popular, but note that PSK Reporter will not send the call sign along unless it sees the string DE, meaning from, and then the call sign repeated twice, which, given that PSK31 has no error correction built in, means that many more call signs are missed. However, there's no denying the popularity of JT65. Note that CW makes it in here too, with results coming via CW Skimmer, the same software that forms the heart of the reverse beacon network. Oddly, single sideband makes the list. It's very hard to decode call signs from spoken transmissions. It might be more popular in the future as various logging software becomes more capable of sending info to PSK Reporter. There's also a site called pskreporter.de, located in Germany, that sorts through the data on the PSK Reporter server to provide more tabular data along with interesting maps. You can make queries of the data here. 
This chart shows how you can simply insert your call sign, or anyone else's for that matter, and look for data either sent by or received by that station. Also note the solar information below that. With a solar flux index of 72, sunspot number of 0, an A index of 5, and a K index of 1, which, by the way, represents lousy solar conditions. This chart shows signals I've received, the modes, frequencies, and so on. All of this is from information my software sent to PSK Reporter. And this chart shows stations who have heard me. One good thing about this feature is that I can see I'm actually getting out. This is an interesting and unusual map. It's called a heat map and it shows the density of amateur digital stations around the world based on reports received by PSK Reporter. Note that amateur radio is largely a northern hemisphere phenomenon, with concentrations in the U.S. West Coast, the eastern third of the United States, throughout Europe, including Eastern Europe, and in Japan. There are a few other hotspots around the globe, including the area near Buenos Aires. This map is updated from time to time and is very interesting to look at. Now, you can see yourself in PSK Reporter even without turning on the feature in your software because it shows the other stations that have heard you. After you've been on PSK31 or JT65 for a while, simply go to pskreporter.info and have it search to see who has heard your call sign. But it's much more fun to also upload received call signs as well. It's sometimes interesting to compare who hears you with those you've heard. You can compare antennas, try different settings, and so on. So let's look at how to turn it on in three popular software packages. If you're using Ham Radio Deluxe, from inside DM780, first choose Program Options, then PSK Reporter, and then check the boxes. It's that simple. Of course, you need an internet connection too. In FL Digi, it's a two-step process. Go to the Configuration menu, select Miscellaneous, then Spotting, and then check the first three boxes. That's step one. Step two is to go back to the main screen and click on the Spot button in the upper right-hand corner. When it glows green, you're submitting your spots, meaning the station call signs your software hears. In the popular WSJTX software by Joe Taylor, it's really easy. On the Settings menu, choose Reporting and simply click the box. So, that's our examination of PSK Reporter, a great participatory beacon system that combines both sending and receiving along with some sophisticated analysis tools. Give it a try. On July 4th, my wife and I went up on top of Colorado's Uncompagre Plateau along Montrose County Road 90 at an elevation of somewhat over 9,000 feet. We were just outside the boundary of the Uncompagre National Forest. The flowers shown here are called mule's ears, at least that's what I've heard them called. They bloom about this time of year. The whole area near this spot is carpeted with them, always beautiful. This is the time of year for the high country wildflowers. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends. I urge you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos. I have a tip jar on my YouTube channel page and also on my website at ke0og.net. And I gratefully acknowledge those who have supported my channel. The whole purpose of this series is to answer your questions about ham radio, especially those of interest to those new to the hobby. You can ask questions by commenting on any of my videos on YouTube, preferably on the one most directly related to your question, or you can pose a question directly at www.ke0og.net slash ask-dave. Until we next meet, 73.